Hello guys. Wow, it's a little bit loud there, I do apologise, but uh, hello. So today we're going to be talking through the setup of how to set up custom views uh, in any aircraft in X-Plane. So if today we're in the Tolis A321, but, uh, how to set up some lovely custom views so that you can get nice and quick moving around the aircraft rather than have to use the default views we see. So if we head over to our settings menu up in the top right here, click the little slider button here, we can see so I've got use profile, so what you would do is create a new profile, just by going manage profiles, create new profile. Once you've created your new profile, you want to head to views, quick look, and then if we scroll down the list on quick look, we can see we've got go to save one, two, three, all these ones. Now, we only want to set keylines to go to save 3D cockpit location between number 11 to number 20 ignoring number two so what i tend to do is assign these are the ones where you once you save them this is what the button you'll click to go to them i assign them to my number keys so number one number 11 will be one number two, 12 will be two three three and so on and so forth until i get to 20 so i'll just quickly skip ahead to there boom so you can see here i've got the nice list of numbers set up on the right got that now what we then want to do is scroll down a little bit and as we head down we can see we've got a memorized 3d cockpit location now here we want to do the exact same thing we did just then for 11 through to 20 so if we just go ahead and set through 11 to 20 now i'll just quickly skip ahead um so what i'm going to do for 11 is i'm going to set it to control plus the number i had set earlier so just control plus that number so for 11 it's going to be control one control one there we go we can see there Boom, control one for number 11. So I'll just skip ahead till I've done all of them. So, again, we can see I've set control one through to control zero all the way apart from number two, so for 11 to 20, apart from two. We're just not doing two, we only want to do 11 to 20. So, I want now I've set that. What I'm just going to do is click done, which automatically saves it. So, we just hit done. So, back into the flight deck now. And using my arrow key, so up and down arrow key, left and right arrow key, your comma. And full stop moves you forward and backwards. I'm just going to set up some custom camera views. So, default position by clicking W. Now, for my flight flying position, I want to be a little bit higher than the standard one, a little bit further forwards. So, if I just scoot forward here, and then my save button was Control 1. So, we're just going to hit Control 1. And now, if we just quickly move off to the left, if I now click my number 1 key, Boom, we're suddenly back in this position and it's saved that. That will now be saved for the Tolis A321. And I would point out that will only be saved for the livery you're in currently. So for this EasyJet livery I've made, we will only have that custom camera for that one. What you have to do is when you spawn an aircraft, assign it. So just remember to make sure you do that. Otherwise you'll have slight issues um, towards the future. Um, so remember to do that. So that's just a quick tutorial ahead of our stream tomorrow. So I hope you do enjoy that. Um... I found it a little bit helpful when I first started getting into Explain. I found there's no real true tutorials out there. So I hope you enjoy that one. Please um, do consider hitting the like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys another time. Thanks very much.